So have you ever submitted a question to tech support and then waited several hours or to the following day to get an answer to your question, only to find out that they are answering a question that you weren't really even asking? That's because of the language barrier between tech support and regular people like you and myself. Now if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, there's an incredibly easy way to send in screenshots of what your problem is and you don't even have to type anything out for the tech support person to understand what you're doing. Now how does that work? This is called a steps recorder. Now as you see, here's an image of my computer. Okay, right here, this is where the user left clicked on Boris Graffiti. This is where I opened a Boris Graffiti. It's even highlighted here and my mouse can be seen down here. My next click of the mouse was the user left clicked on the project setting window. Here is that highlighted, here is my mouse. Okay, without getting into too much further detail. This is all the steps. This is just kind of a mock setup that I did real quick. Now, what a tech guy really loves is all this information here. He can come down here and see all the steps you did to recreate the problem that you ran into. Basically, you're making a recording right up until the point you run into your problem. Then this is going to put this into a nice zipped folder. You're going to mail this to tech support. They're going to open it and you're probably going to get a very accurate answer to your question or at least where everybody's going to be on the same page. There will be no back and forth emails to that degree. Now, how does this work exactly? Like I said, you have to have Windows 7 or 8. Come up to your search bar. I'm going to type in steps. On a Windows 7 machine, you would have to type into the search bar in your start menu in the lower left hand corner. Okay, this is how the steps recorder icon appears in Windows 8. Now, if you have Windows 7, it's called record steps to reproduce a problem, which is actually a more accurate name for the program, but it's the exact same program on both Windows 7 and Windows 8. There's no difference. Okay, so you open your steps recorder. Now, what you can do with the steps recorder is you come to your settings, okay? Now it can remember the last 25 clicks of the mouse that you did. In most cases that's probably enough, but you can set this as high as 999. It doesn't hurt to record every step you did. Now you can also not take a snapshot of the screen, but I recommend you do. You could shut that off. It makes for a smaller file, but that basically all you're left with is a key logger of every time you clicked your mouse. Now you could give the output file a name now at this time if you wanted, but I'm not going to do this at this time. You can do that when you complete your recording. Okay, so I'm going to select OK. All you got to do is hit Start Record. Okay, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to open Boris Graffiti. Okay, it recorded that keystroke by me. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to click on my text. I'm going to change this into a still image file. Click on that. Open that. Now, let's say that I wanted to come up here under filters, generators, and let's say I clicked on this and something went terribly wrong. And my question to tech support is, why did this happen? Well, what I would want to do is, let's say this is a blank screen or whatever, you're actually having a problem, we're pretending I have a problem at this time. This is where I would want to add a comment. I would click on add a comment, okay? This is where you type in what your problem is, what your comment is. Okay, so you've seen the screen freaking out there? It's doing that because Windows won't let me record the screen along with the comment section and it won't even let me take a snapshot of the screen. Okay, I just used my camera and I took a picture of the screen with my camera to show you what this highlight area looks like. Okay, I'm just going to put this in the bottom corner and make it look like this is what you are going to see. So basically what happens is when you hit that comment, okay, you end up getting a crosshair that looks similar to this. This is Snagit. It's a little different, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the area of the screen that you want the person reviewing this information to see. Okay, and once you do that, there will also be a window down here. 
that you can type your comment into. Okay, you would type, say, this screen is blank and I don't understand what's going on. Can you please help me? Blah, 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 whatever. And then you select OK in this box and it adds that comment to your screenshot of this area highlighted. Okay, I wish I could have shown you that on a recording. There was no way I could do that. So I'm very sorry for that, but let's move on. Okay, I'm simply going to stop my recording at this point. Okay, now you could actually email it directly from here. I don't have an email program associated with this, so I couldn't do that. But if you had an email program associated with it, you could email it directly from there. Okay, now I'm going to make this full screen real quick. Okay, see how it's kind of small right now? The resolution of these is pretty good. It's slightly reduced to make the size of the file smaller, especially for emailing. Okay, but I wanted to show you that size now because it looks better after you save it. I'm going to select Save. I'm just going to type in Example. I'm going to save that. Okay, I'm going to close this. I'm going to close Boris Graffiti. Here is the file I just created right in front of you. Okay, I double clicked on it to open it. Here's the recording as it will appear. I'm going to open this up. Okay. Here we go. I left clicked on Boris Graffiti. Here it is highlighted. And we're going to scroll on down, way down. You know, all these individual, every time I clicked, this was recorded. Okay, we're going to come down. Here's the problem. Here's your user comment. Why is this happening? This area is highlighted. Okay. And once again, here is all the long, drawn out, dirty details that tech guys just love. And you simply, now that you've saved it, I'm going to close it out. All I got to do is create an email, give them a brief explanation of my situation, attach this file to it, and you're all set. Your responses should be pretty darn accurate because he's going to see exactly what you did and what your problem is. So I hope that helps you out. I want you to know that this feature can be used on anything, okay? If you're having technical problems with a different program altogether, if you just want to record some screenshots and send them to your friend with your keystrokes with some instructions to help them understand something, you can do that as well. And this file is not terribly large. See, it's only 708 kilobytes, which which means that even if it was 30 or 40 times larger than that, you could still send it by standard email. So I hope this helps you out. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.